Hey everyone, so I'm back with another tutorial. This is a really nice glowy rose gold smoky eye. Um, it's good for any event and especially for any bridal events um, in the summer and it's just such a nice look. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright, so I always start by prepping the face. I'm using the Nivea Men's Aftershave. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's a really good primer. It just moisturizes the skin. Um, it makes your makeup stick to the skin and last all day and everything goes on nice and smooth. So I'm just going under the eyes, along the jawline, getting everything. Then I'm going in with Benefit Professional. It's another really good primer and it just helps blur the skin. So it helps blur out any pores, um, any fine lines and everything just looks super smooth after this and I'm using just a nail brush and now I'm gonna set the eyes so I'm gonna prep it with MAC Painterly Paint Pot um, and I'm using just a flat top dual fiber brush um, these brushes are amazing for any wet product on the skin just want to go in blend that out and then you want to set it with the air spun powder tap up all the excess and just make sure you go over the whole lid and that way the eyeshadows do not go on blotchy. So you always want to start with a, a transition color. So I'm going in with a soft brown. I'm going with the lightest brown in the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced and I'm using just a fluffy blending brush and I'm putting that right in the crease and the outer V. Just the, in the outer corner and you want to build that color up make sure you blend really well and that way transition seamlessly there I just zoomed in for you guys all right so the next shadow I'm going in with is Swiss Chocolate from MAC. It's a really, really nice warm brown. It's actually one of my favorites. I'm just going over the crease again and the outer V. So you want to build up that color. If you do want a lighter look and you don't want to go as smoky, you can just stick with this and just um, not follow the next steps because we're going to go a little darker with some darker browns and some blacks. So you're just going to keep going back and forth and adding on a little bit of more color at a time. And then make sure you keep going back and blending it out as well. All right, so now I'm adding Embark from MAC. It's a dark brown. So you wanna build up the darkness and you wanna go closer to the outer V and leave a little bit of that Swiss chocolate in between and that way it doesn't all just smudge and blend into like a muddy color. You can see the dimension and the transition. Now I'm gonna grab some black shadow. This is Carbon from MAC and I'm just grabbing a tapered blending brush. I'm just doing a little bit closer to the lash line and into the outer V. So you want to build up the smoky that way. I'm not going any further in from the middle of the eye. So up to the middle of the eye into the outer V. And building that up. So now you just want to grab a blending brush and then um, you want to grab a flat brush and you're just going to spray the brush like I did with a setting spray. That's the one from Face Atelier and then I'm going into a Naked Cosmetics pigment. This is the Rose Gold and guys I'm going to put all of the um, products that I use in the description down below and that way you can go out and check those out. So I'm just patting it on the lid, that way I'm building up the color and anytime you're working with metallics or shimmers or loose powders, um, it's really good to spray your brush and that way you get the full potential. You get it nice, to nicely pop and, um, and also to last all day. Now I'm going in with the color Kitten from the Stila and the Light palette. This is a really nice highlighting shade. I'm just using a pencil brush and I'm going under the brows and in the tear duct. So when I'm doing it on clients, I always ask them to look up and that way I can really get in there. And then just cleaning off any of the excess 
product or any of the fallout um, especially when you're working with black shadows you want to do the eyes first that way you get a chance to clean up the fallout before you do your face otherwise you've already done your face it's gonna fall on it and then you're just gonna have to take everything off and redo it and it's a hassle so just use any baby wipe or makeup wipe and do that Okay, and I'm just going back in with my fluffy brush and my Swiss chocolate and I'm just blending everything out and then building up a little bit of that shadow okay and since we did wipe all that off I'm going back with a little bit more Nivea that way I can moisturize the under eye and make sure that um, there's no creases. Um, now I'm using the Fenty foundation in shade 260 and my nail brush. Make sure you get everything and go on the neck and the jawline. Spray the face with my setting spray and then I'm going in with a wet beauty blender and just blending everything out. It's really important actually to spray the face before you blend. That way it makes it set into the skin really nicely and it's also uh, making the skin a little wet which helps the beauty blender do its job and just blend everything out seamlessly. We do like to go over the lips just because some people have really pigmented lips which throws off the lipstick colors. So um, that way it kind of just moots it out and that way whatever you're using comes out true to color. And then I'm going in with the CoverGirl concealer, the True Blend concealer, and I'm doing a V under the eyes, the chin down the nose, and a little triangle in between the brows and the middle of the forehead. And if they have any blemishes or spots, you can cover that up on this step as well. Just blend it out with the Beauty Blender and have them look up when you're doing this. So if someone has a bigger forehead, you don't want to put as much, you just want to stick kind of like in between the brows. And if someone has a really small forehead, you can bring up the highlight on their forehead um, closer to their hairline. So it just really depends on what you're working with. I love this concealer, guys. It's honestly so smooth and it provides full coverage. So I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Powder um, and just a dual fiber um, powder brush and this stuff is amazing. It's like a foundation as well so it just makes everything matte, it makes everything flawless and lasts all day. Um, we are going for a full coverage look so that's why we're doing all these steps. You don't want to, you can just um, skip the concealer and um, you can just do moisturizer with the Studio Fix. Now I'm setting under the eyes with the airspun powder and my beauty blender. Um, this is just going to make the eyes so much nicer and brighter and it's going to set the eyes. Um, so I'm just going in with a bar of soap and a uh, mascara wand or spoolie. I wet the spoolie and I put in the soap and I'm just brushing up the brows. So I'm giving it that like fluffy, thicker, natural look. So you just want to go upwards. And um, it really depends on how dramatic the client wants or how dramatic you want to go, but it's a really nice look and it's trending right now. Then I'm going in with the Anastasia uh, gel and I'm using uh, blonde and I'm just using a very small angled brush. This is the, from Bedellium Tools and I'm going kind of in like hair strokes and I'm making them pointed upward so it kind of goes with that fluffy look and then I'm brushing up after with the spoolie that really helps blend it out so it's not too harsh. Don't mind my nails guys, these are my quarantine nails and I am not going to see anyone for a while because we're technically on lockdown, so I'm just cringing watching this. Okay, and then I'm just 
brushing off all that extra powder with the face brush and then the Silk Hula Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm going along her jawline and her chin. I actually just saw a little bit of blotchiness there, so I'm just touching that up and then setting it. Then you want to go in the hollows of the cheekbones with this is like a tapered blush brush so i'm just going in and i'm adding that contour then building it up and then you want to blend it into the hair and go around the face along the edges there so anything you do on camera looks a lot more natural so if you are going to an event where you're having like flash photography make sure you do extra blush because on camera it'll look super light and super natural now i'm going in with max mineralized blush in warm soul this is a really nice peachy color um me like light to medium skin looks really nice and you just want to go on the apples of the cheeks and then blend it into the contour and now i'm just going back with my face brush and i'm just blending everything out you really want to make sure you don't skip this step or else you're going to look crazy you don't want any harsh lines blend 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 okay and i'm going in with becca champagne pop this is the loose powder highlight and i'm going in with the same brush and i'm just going above the cheekbones above where i did that blush and i'm gonna do above the lips on the cupid's bone on the chin okay and i do a little bit of contour just under the uh, bottom lip that's going to make the lip look a little bigger and then I'm going down the sides of the nose with just a flat brush and under the nose and across above the tip and that way um, we make the nose look smaller and more defined and more pointy. Then I'm just blending it out with the flat top brush and the color I used is MAC Taupe. Then I'm going in with a pencil brush and kitten and just doing the point down the middle of the nose and the cupid's bow and then i'm going back in in the teared up and just making sure i have that highlight there so it pops all right and then i'm going in with a small flat brush and i'm just putting um that swiss chocolate color under the waterline that way it blends with the top i'm just blending that out after with the flat top brush Alright, so I'm just going in with lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm not sure what this color is, but I'll write it in the description. And then I'm going to grab Dolce K, which is a liner from Kylie, like a darker brown. And then I'm going to overline a little bit, fill in the edges, and that's just going to add some dimension and make the lips look bigger. We're also going to do the top. When you're working on a client, you want to make sure that they smile so it stretches out the lips and the skin and that way it goes on smooth and nice. And then we're doing, again, filling in the outer corners and we're just going to put a little bit down the middle and that's just going to make the lips look a little bigger. Right, and then we're going to go in with the Fenty lip gloss after this. I just put a little bit more of that light lipstick in the middle, in the pinkish tone Fenty lip gloss, and I'm just having her stab her lips together just to blend it out. And then we're doing mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal mascara. First, you'll have the client look up, and you'll do the bottom lashes. I always do bottom lashes, so it just blends with the whole look. Um, and then I do the top by having them look at the floor. So, and then I kind of pull up the lid a little bit to see what I'm doing. So that way you have a little bit more control. Okay, and then I'm grabbing that flat brush, a small flat brush, you can grab a pencil brush and just go in with carbon or a black shadow 
and you're just gonna smudge it along the lash line so it's gonna make the lashes look a little bit fuller it's gonna go with that smoky look and it's also really good if your client has lash extensions or if you have lash extensions and you can't use anything oil based this is super easy and super nice to do I'm just touching up under the eye if there was some black ball you want to actually clean it off with a wipe first and then you want to go over and cover it again with concealer so I'm just doing that a little bit here and then I'm just going to set it with powder again okay and then I actually already applied her lashes I'm sorry I did not film that and I'm just going over the lash line with some black gel liner this one's from Inglot Alright guys, so that's the completed look. It's super nice, glowy. Look at that cheek. It's honestly such a bomb look. You're gonna love it. So I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe to see more. And I hope you guys all stay safe during this time in this quarantine. Definitely be coming out with more videos.